were planning this season, uh, we went and visited a number of different places where we thought we might perform. And when we walked in this building, my jaw just dropped. This place is magnificent and, and, and majestic. It's enormous, 40,000 square feet, uh, and the history is palpable. My father worked here for approximately 30 years. Through every property of Bethlehem, my father was a pipe fitter. I spent 13 years working here in the machine shop in the 70s and early 80s. Uh, this was probably the largest, best equipped machine shop east of the Mississippi River after the, you know, after the Second World War. They put two uh, huge uh, electric furnaces there, and, I, and Bethel never did have the, the resources to install a caster, so you had co incomplete modernization, and uh, sadly the plant uh, uh, closed in July of 1992, and uh, there was an effort to uh, reuse the entire plant. Uh, that's a complex, uh, very sad story. for us to bring the symphony. Uh, we usually perform up on the hill in Richland. It's a way of bringing the symphony to the heart of the city of Johnstown. And it's also a way for us to connect to people who don't usually come to the symphony. But more than that, it's just an opportunity for us to be in this incredible place, uh, this, this historic building, this place that's been uh, at the heart of so many families for generations. In 1992, faced with the, the closure of the mill, the Johnstown Area Heritage Association was able to fund the documentation of the entire uh, steel uh, making operation, which was interesting. It had, you know, electric, you know, uh, kind of a state-of-the-art electric melt shop, you know, huge electric uh, furnaces, along with, uh, uh, you know, a uh, early 20th century primary mill and soaking pits and building mill. I, I guess what strikes me is just how dangerous the work is. Uh, I can't believe that people are swinging these, these steel rods that are red hot around and they, they seem so casual. Concert, they'll be able to uh, highlight Johnstown past and honor the uh, steel workers that uh, labored so hard in this industry. I hope that they can not only see what the history of Johnstown was, but also the culture and the arts, as well as um, the employment piece, as far as the employment that was here during the years of Bethlehem Steel. A lot of us say we have the drive that we do because we were raised by those steel workers and coal miners. 